My name is Peyton Macy's, and you're listening to AnyCast. AnyCast is about anything and everything. We have some cool guests on sometimes, or sometimes it's just me. But enjoy today's episode, and I hope you learn something new. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to AnyCast, specifically another summer album review. I do have some news uh, I gotta get off. Um... I wasn't really enjoying Metallica Mondays. I found it very boring in the latest couple of episodes. So I actually can uh I actually told myself I'm gonna stop this. So that's you know, if if that's disappointing to you guys, sorry, but I only want to do things, you know, that uh make me uh enjoy what I do. You know, this is hobby for me. Um and I was like, eh, I don't really want to commit to all those others. So Thankfully, we listened to the more iconic albums, and I stuck it out for Load and Reload. But today, we are going to be talking about um, probably the most, I, I would say the absolute most, iconic and influential pop album of all time. This album turned 40 years old uh, last year. Um... I mean, it's still 40 until November 30th, but released on November 30th, 1982, the album called Thriller was released. Michael Jackson's Thriller, 42 minutes long, 21 seconds, nine songs. What an amazing, amazing album. I love this album. Um, I listen to it on vinyl. Um, which is always special, you know, listening to something on vinyl record. It's really fun. And, you know, I think I actually liked each track. Uh, some of them were like, eh, it's okay. Um, so, like, the first three tracks I thought were okay. Uh, Wanna Be Starting Something, uh, Baby Be Mine, The Girl Is Mine. They were all okay tracks. But then it got tremendously better with some other tracks, such as Thriller and uh, others. Anyways, like I was saying, you know, uh, Thriller is probably like the most iconic track on the entire album, the title track, of course. Um, this album is really good. I liked all the tracks, but, you know, Thriller, Beat It, Billie Jean, Human Nature was okay. Pretty Young Thing was pretty good. Um, and then The Lady in My lo- in my Life was eh. But, you know, the, the album overall was good. I liked what I heard. You know, it was, it was definitely uh, lived up to what I thought it would be. You know, it's one of, um, I would say, the most iconic um, Michael Jackson album. I know that he did bad. But I think that this one was more iconic um, maybe because, you know, it has a Halloween song on there and has your typical pop romance songs on there. It has all these just different types of songs, right? Um, so yeah, it was really nice to listen to that. You know, I mean, I've, I've been a Michael Jackson fan, you know, e- even though, you know, it's hard to be a fan of somebody who's a monster at the same time. Um, but, you know, I was introduced to Michael Jackson at a very young age, and my mom's love for Michael Jackson's music, definitely, uh, she, um, introduced him to me, and I've liked his style of music, I've liked that he can dance, sing, and everything, and, you know, people have said, you know, like, he's the king of pop, okay, cool, and, you know, also people always are like, oh, well, who's the next Michael Jackson? Kind of like in the sense of who's the next Kobe? And, you know, people have been very talented in both singing and dancing. Um, there's only one other person that you could even compare to Michael Jackson. Well, actually, two other people that you, I think you could compare to Michael Jackson in the pop sensation, which are Bruno Mars and... Um, Oh gosh, I'm blanking on his name and I just had his name, Usher, Usher, Usher and Bruno Mars. Um, You know, the great Bruno Mars, you know, everybody likes Bruno Mars. He made a limited amount of albums, 
Um, I hope he still makes music. I know he made uh, some music a little while back, I think in 2020 or something like that. Um, but yeah, you know, listening to this album was really nice. You know, 40th anniversary happened and this thing came out. Um, something really interesting that people might not know is the fact that this album on the vinyl, the actual album cover picture there's a second half to it that not a lot of people see where there's a little baby tiger on Michael Jackson's leg. It's a very interesting little detail that if you have the vinyl, you'll see it. If you look it up online, I'm sure you'll see it. Um, it's very interesting. You know, he had a baby tiger there. Um, but yeah, I mean, with all that being said, like, I don't, I don't know how to do these album reviews. Um, I actually almost forgot about doing the album review. I listened to the album and then I didn't review it immediately afterwards, which is probably a problem of mine. Um, but yeah, you know, this album was great. I liked it. thought it was a good album. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, make sure to share this with you guys as friends. Of course, go listen to the source material. It'll be linked down below. And with all that being said, hope you guys have a great one. Um, since we're not doing Metallica Mondays, you guys will only hear from me on Wednesdays and Saturdays on the podcast, but of course I have Peyton and Ministries. I have episodes on Sundays and Wednesdays, uh, so you guys would get double the content from me on a Wednesday. Next week, we're going to have Empire Strikes Back and Back in Black, and then the week after that, we'll have Return of the Jedi and Sour. Uh, very interesting album choices. You know, we go from pop to rock back to pop of the modern day, which I have a lot to say about that pop album over there because particularly because of the artist and all that. But thought that being said, hope you guys have a great one. See you guys in the next one. Peace. <laughs>